Hey guys, to Jew22 here, and if, if that scared you, I'm sorry about that. Hey guys, it's great to be back on uh, Paper Mario 64. Uh, let me see who's in the chat right now. Okay, all right, no one's no one's in the chat yet, but I'll I'll, I'll share this out with uh, a few other people. But um, anyway, I was just <laughs> I I was just pretty much having fun with. Uh, with that little theme, I, I got that from. Uh, it's a, it's actually a wrestling theme from uh, New Japan, and, and it was for Tatsumi Fujinami, one of my favorite wrestlers in Japan. And of course, he's more he's infamous for the Dragon Suplex, among other things. But anyway, I'm just gonna share this out with a few other people, and we will get started. But I hope everyone's having a good time. I'll share this with a select few people here. So, hang on a second. Oh, okay. Hmm, excuse me. Let's see. I'm just uh, sharing this with uh, a select few people here. But nonetheless, though, it it is nice to be back, and there we go. I'll share this with a select few people, but nonetheless, though, or heck, I, I should probably even share this on which games guides, although I think... Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to check the uh, the chat. All right. So far, nobody's in yet. But okay. Actually, I'm going to share with one other uh, with one other one. I apologize, folks. I'm just uh, sharing this with you know select people. But nonetheless, though. Well, anyway, the journey to get to the castle was – I don't want to say it was difficult, but unless you know what you're doing, which thankfully I did, uh, yeah, it can be tricky though. Uh, it, but, but of course, once you, once you know what to do, the castle itself is not going to be much of an issue. Now, I will say though that um, – I will say though that, hey, there's Phantom Gamer. What's up, man? And hopefully, hopefully life is treating you better than it did the last time I did uh, this game. But okay, here we go. Can I make it? No, I cannot. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Well, I well, I mean, I, I recognize that things are not always. Uh, I, I I understand the predict. I understood the predicament that you were in, and uh, okay, so at least that helps, though. All right, I was wondering what what would happen if I hit that button again. Yeah, no chance, buddy. Hmm. Yep, let's do this. Okay, that didn't work. Ow! 
Ooh, oh, that hurt. Okay, that time I got it. Only until my hearing? Okay, that time I got him. Ooh, oh, that hurt. Social Security. <sighs> yeah, man, I, I really hope you do get it because it's just, it's, a, I, I'm sorry, but it's just not. Let's see. Ooh, um, might need to change to another member. Probably Cooper. Because I can hit and run. Uh-oh. Well, thankfully, I could just finish him off here. Might need to heal up, though. Okay, so I did get a couple of... Okay, good. I got a couple of uh, items here. Well, looks like I'm going to have to eat some fries. But yeah, that battle was a lot tougher than it should have been. Hmm. I'm going to see if... Wait, can you bomb this? No, you can't. Okay. Thought I should try. Oh, and I got hit. Let's see. How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Well, I can definitely use this. And never be never be afraid to use your items, especially when you absolutely need them. Okay, here we go. Yep. But really, though, I'm I'm hoping that you you feel better. And that things do turn around. Ah. Okay, and this is going to be a little bit more tricky here. Uh. Let's see. Oh, Star Storm. I could use this. I'm hope. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I mean, of course, like, like, I, I'll, I'll say this: I don't really know much about your situation. Not to say I, I make light of it because I'm not, but I just know that, um, I, I, I just hope that, uh, and, and pray that you, you get what you truly deserve, and that, well. And that things do turn around. And soon. Hmm. Might have to change out. I'll change out to Cooper here. Now I can just pick them off one at a time. But I'm hoping that this will give you a chance to, you know, take a break and enjoy the show. And I'll do everything I can to entertain you. Absolutely. But, you know, I just noticed that – well, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it when we get there uh, at the actual entrance. Hmm. I feel there might be uh, a secret here. Let me get Watt. Hmm. 
only question is, how do I get up? Hmm. There might be, there might have to, I might have to find a w another way to get up there, but anyway, we are approaching the, ooh, oh, there's, oh, okay, okay, there's something up here, what's this, try the spin jump, oh, let me try that, yeah, I forgot I can still do that. Oh, there we go. We got it. There it is. I forgot that I could do that. <laughs> but but no, really. What is this thing here? Oh, I could just throw a pebble. Wait, a pebble? That reminds me. That reminds me. Do this here. There we go. But that just reminded me of something. That reminds me, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, it can be used a useless item, but it, it just reminded me of something. It, it really did. It did. Got a little lamb. Oh, let me try that again. But it did remind me of about this guy right here. Mary had a little lamb. Well, I tell you what, piss on the lamb, piss on Mary, and piss on you. The Rock is going to go out there tonight and do what he does best. And let's lay the smackdown on your Rudy Poo. Ah, hey, don't do it. Don't do it because the Rock guarantees to prove to you, you, this goof holding the camera, this chick gawking at the Rock, he will prove to the millions. And millions of The Rock's fans, exactly why The Rock is the great one. Exactly why The Rock is the chosen one. And exactly why The Rock is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best damn WWF champ there ever was. If you smell. Hey, uh uh, Philly, this ain't sing along with the champ. If you smell. Ow, what The Rock. It's cooking. The Rock truly means. Yeah, I, w I wanted to share that part right there. But I'm very sorry about that, man. I'm very sorry that it had to do you like that and, and that you don't have much time on your phone. It just sucks, though, that you, you're you even in this position to begin with. And, and the sad thing is, I mean, sure. What? Wait a minute. There's two of you. I'm tempting to get a room in a hotel. Well, I I just hope that you weigh out your op options, man. Uh, I think he just gave it away. Yes, exactly. One of these guys has to know their role and shut their mouth. Okay, not a problem, Phantom Gamer. If you, you do what you gotta do, man. You, you just have to... 
Listen, ah. Uh... Yeah, it was him. Oh, so that's where these guys came from. What made you think I was the one lying, huh? Don't be such a crybaby. Crybaby, you lost. All right, before I go any further, let me make sure that the video was running smoothly. Uh, let me just put it right down there. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot that I had this on. Uh, I, ha I forgot I had the video capture off. Or the, the audio for it. My bad. But yeah, let me know when the video starts to crap out now. Let's just hope the lobby isn't closed. Oh, dear. Also, let me Okay, there we go. Now I just wanted to make sure that I uh video is fine. Alright, cool. Although who are these guys? I mean exactly, who are these Rudy Poo candy asses here? A dupla ghost. Of course, I'm more familiar with uh, a, a later enemy or an enemy from the next game, and they kind of look like in this in that and in that game they look like these guys. But well, I'll, that's something that I'll have to tackle when when the time comes. It's a duplico. So here we go. Duplicos disguise themselves as members of our party. Max HP, attack power four. They love to attack in disguise. It seems like they generally, they're generally stronger fighters when they're not disguised, though. Oh. Okay, so these are a step above um, normal enemies, but otherwise they are a step below bosses. So they're kind of like mini bosses. Okay, so I mistimed that one. All right, let me take a moment to heal. Really? I did not know that. <laughs> Although I could probably see it. Okay, that time I got it. All right. In, in fact, I'm going to just jump on you right now. And that's it. They're done. Well, that was a good one. I, I, that was nice that I was able to lay the smack down on his candy ass. feel like we're on the edge of the world up here. Seriously, this is a really remote place to go adventuring. Oh. And who are these guys? A white clubber? This is a white club. Uh, they live in cold climates. Who knows why they moved here? HP 12 and attack power 5. Sometimes they they attack consecutively. They're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing such big clubs. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break out fire if you haven't. Ow. Sometimes their 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 attacks can be harder to uh, 
uh, to predict at times, but at least we got one of them out. All right, back to uh, Cooper, though. Ow. Hmm. And you know, just for just for fun, I'm just gonna throw this this pebble on it, and it, it only does one pitiful damage. That's nice. But at least I now know what it does, so. Okay, I was at least able to block one. Uh... Yes, let me refresh. Always keep your health up as much as you can. Especially if you don't know where you are, like... I mean, of course, I'm more familiar with uh, the next game, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. So at least I know what I'm getting myself into. But with this game, I'm not saying I'm, I'm completely blind because I have seen other Let's Players play this game before. But it's not as familiar to me if you catch me drift. Okay, let me see if there's anything up here. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, well, there's only one. Yeah, there's only one partner to pick. It, by default, it's Paracarry. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the remake, of course. But, but yeah, man, I'm, I, uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna talk to, uh, I'm gonna pray for you, uh, at the church that I go to. You know, with family and everything. Kind of reminds me, I gotta, uh, pay my ties. But nonetheless, though, yes, I'm getting the remake, of course. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Something tells me I shouldn't do it. But then again, like I said, I don't, I don't think I've ever, fa fa okay, all right, Phantom, it's nice to meet you. I know I sometimes call people Mr. or, well, and uh, maybe, and then for, for women, I usually call them Lady or, and, and then for select few people, I, I do just call them by their name. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's a space where you could put something. Okay, so something tells me I might need to go back and get something. Oh, I could put something in its place. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I think I realized what I needed to do. I'm like, what in the heck am I supposed to do here? All right, let me switch out to Goombario. Walk carefully here, or you may slip. That would be a long way down, huh? Yeah, apparently so. Oh, wait, I think I need somebody else. And, you know, out of all the characters, my good friend Bombette, 
Yeah, exactly. How am I not freezing? I mean, then again, when 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 you're in the cold like this, there's only one thing. And I do mean one thing that when you think about it, it just makes you feel all the more uh what's the word? Um It makes you feel it makes you feel it just makes me feel stone cold really that's just what it does it makes you feel stone cold but don't take my word for it. Yeah, it, it, it makes you feel stone cold. Oh, shit. Hopefully that didn't. Um, hopefully that didn't uh, overdo it or anything like that. No, it's not video game logic. In case of Stone Cold break the glass, yeah. When you when you hear the glass, it's your ass or something akin to that. Oh, now wait, what is this? What a strange place this is. It's bright even in the in the cave. This must be the small cave that Merlot Merle told us about. There's something strange about this place. Even the wall seems suspicious to me for some reason. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I feel the same way, really. Okay. Whoa! I actually went through the wall. I went through the wall. At last is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. Did you find it strange that I know of you? Are you stalking me, dude? Oh. My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. Do you know Merlon and Merli? Well, I am their ancestor. The stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They said that you would come to the shrine of on Silver Mount Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the it is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. Or aka the Stone Cold Castle. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. Of course. Of course, of course they had invaded the castle. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. Uh-oh. And then eventually we fall asleep. <laughs> and there it is. With this stone you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Shortened, shortened my, that was not the, that was not a short story, at least from what I'm seeing yet. 
But nonetheless, though, we do have a Stone Cold Star. But that's so weird that you can go through... Like, I was like, no, there's no way. And then, sure enough, yeah, you go through the wall. Nonetheless, though, here it is. Starstone. Of course, that means that we can never go back to the, uh, the, the little cave. But we can get to the castle itself. We were just on the outskirts of it, really. But yeah, man, out of character, I, I have been uh, been trying to do uh, to continue this let's play, but for one reason or another, I, I would always have something else on the back burner, and well, it, it just couldn't be helped. Really, it couldn't. Ow! Oh crap! Well, you know what? I did, I did not want to have to do this, but I'm going to do it because, I mean, if there were like only two enemies or if all the enemies were easy, I probably wouldn't use it, but, but I'm going to use them. So, all right. So let me change out, like, let's see who could do a lot of damage with the amount that they can do. Let's see, Lackey Lester, what could he do? Let's see. Oh, okay. Spiny Surge. I could probably do that one because it can attack all enemies. All right, here we go. There we go. It's a good thing I can actually do that. All right, that takes out two of them. Ow! Okay, good. At least I got... The last couple ones. Oh, dear. Okay, I can probably use the maple super. It sucks, though, that I have to use these items, but the, the enemies do get tough, I'm, I'm telling you. All right, let's throw one at this guy right here. Thankfully, he, he does a lot of damage, does Lackey Lester. Although, now I'm down to my last couple of uh, items, so I might need to... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll save this, actually. I'll just finish him off right now. But anyway, how's everything going there, Jose? Is there anything over here? Oh, yeah, there is something over here. The Mega Jump. Ooh, okay. Oh. Uh, I meant to go to my badges, please. Thank you. Let's see. Power Smash. Okay. Deep Focus. I have the Defend Plus badge because I knew I was going to need all the help that I could get. Let's see. Power Smash. Let me take out Power Bounce. And then how much does the... Um, what, what was it called again? Oh, the Mega Jump. Okay, it takes three, so I might need to take out um, another one. But which one am I not using as much? Probably the Power Smash because... Well, actually, hang on. Oh, close call, but I haven't been in a close call in a while, so... Mega Jump, there it is. BRB. And then, uh, 
Okay, I'll, I'll just tell you, and it's not much of a spoiler. In fact, it's not a spoiler. In, in Thousand Year Door, what I found, and, and this is just me saying it because I, I played the game many times and I've beaten it because I love that game so much. But multi-bounce in Thousand Year Door is far more useful in that game than it is in, than it is in this game because in this game, I, I find that the uh, timing is a bit wonky. But in but in the original Thousand Year Door for the GameCube, I found it much more easier to use, and uh, yeah, man, I I definitely enjoyed that. Although I do remember that. Okay, there's... Okay. I was trying to figure out how to get uh, that particular... Um, uh, what's the word? I was trying to figure out how to do... How to get that um, star piece. Maybe I have to go down here? Oh, there's a save. Oh, thank God for that. I definitely will need it. But if I go down here... Yep, that's where the star piece is. Okay, so at least we now know how to get it, and we got it. And there's also... Oh, thank goodness... The only thing it doesn't heal is uh, your star power, but that's all right. Oh, look at this. Don't you just feel how cold it is? And it's not just and it's not just freezing, it's not just chilling. It's stone cold. And not even in a stone cold Steve Austin way. You just walk down the hall. In fact, let's see if there's anything in the door. Well, there's another save block, but which I'll, I'll gladly take. Hmm. There must be something here. Yep, not not so fast, buddy. Oh yeah, the best way to get those enemies is to hit hit them from the ceiling. Okay, might need to switch over to Gumbario and find out who this is. This is a Swoopliella. They attack from the air and cling on to you to suck your HP. Max HP is 8, attack power is 2. Fight it off, or it'll just keep sucking your HP. You, you can't jump high enough to attack them while they're hanging on the ceiling. An earthquake attack ought to work, though. Flying member, flying party members like Bao or Perry can also attack them with ease. If they fall and begin to flap around, you, you can attack them by jumping as well. All right. Oh! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so if you're really fast with the button, and, and you have the Defense Plus badge, which is one of the badges I have, uh, then this one should not be too difficult, thankfully. Got him! Ok, 
Okay, well, thankfully they have this one attack where you have to hit the button. All right, I'm going to I'm going to focus. All right, finish him off here. All right. <laughs> yeah, he flew a little too low. Hmm. Good thing I have this uh, earthquake. I wonder if there's one that can attack enemies in the air. Let's see. Well, Paracarry, maybe. Oh, yeah. Lackey Lester, of course. He's got Spiny Surge. Of course. Yeah, that'll knock them all out. There we go. Th thank you, man. Something's over here. But what? Okay, so there's... There's a chest. And we have a, and we have a big blue key. What does this button do? It... What? Oh, I see. Okay, so we have a key to the blue door. I see. And I imagine we have to come back. Might need uh, Bombette for this one. All right, great job there. Dude, this is so weird. Okay, so you can enter through here. And it looks like you can... What? Well, we better beat him. All right, time to lay the smack down on your monkey asses right now. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. Ow. There we go. Oh, oh, dang it. Let me make sure, um, I'm just double checking to make sure that the connection is still good. Oh, shit.
I always hate it when 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 the output is not as good as it should be. Let me see if this works. Hopefully it does. I hope. Okay, that works. All right, there we go. But yeah, just let me know, guys, in the chat if uh, the video starts to look wonky. I was just checking. I, I always check every now and then to see how it's doing. Okay. Okay, much better. Much better. Okay, that time I got him. I'm going to refresh. Nice. see if there's anyone that's tried to reach out to me and welcome back phantom and of course the real Mario's strong which what did you think your candy asses thought was gonna happen like seriously what did you think was gonna happen though hmm and if I okay so it works either way on I either side though hey what's up AJ anyway for those for those of you who who are regular viewers of uh, Phantom Gamer or not Phantom Gamer excuse me uh, much games guides and also, I forgot to do my usual intro of, hey guys, to Jew22 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. And this Let's Play is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Okay, so now that I did that, welcome to the show, AJ. And, uh, great to see you there. Let's see. Well, I, I don't think it would be wise for me to go back, so I gotta go over here. Nice, I got a super mushroom, that's good. I might need to switch out a partner though. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the sassy boo to come out. I'm tired and bored, lol. And I'm also gonna hammer a bat. Hmm. Okay. Plan of attack. I am going to... Well, first... Actually, I'm going to make this easier on myself. And now, time to lay the smackdown on the swoopula. Yep, she pretty much laid the smackdown on his monkey ass. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of uh, pro wrestling. And, well, looks like... Okay, so now she's gonna... Alright, so now I can't use my hammer now, but... I can still... I'll have to take out... Bow? And while it is unladylike to hit another... Or, while it is uh, unmanly-like to, to hit a lady... That's not a lady. That's just a disguise. Though I certainly don't advocate for beating up women. Not at all. Though, even though that shouldn't have had to be said, I am I am saying that. But, still. Alright. There we go. Got him.
But anyway, how's everything going there, AJ? Ooh, I got a Volt Shroom. Hmm. Something tells me there might be something in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now we have a whiz robe here. This might be bad, but... I might consider... Another power quake. Yeah, I'm probably going to go after that uh, that Magikoopa because I have a feeling that he's going to do something. But what will he do? He increased his attack power, so that's not good. That's not good. Well, now I'm left with no other option but to take him out. Anyway, AJ, are you still at work by any chance? If that's the case, uh, I'll, I'll let you get back to it, dude. Okay, so obviously this uh, Magikoopa is notorious for... Um, I'm going to try out the Mega Jump really quickly. Oh, that does a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Oh, you are off. Okay. By the way, AJ, would you like to um, would you like to do something for the first time, and that is co-commentate on a, and of course that little that little rat runs off. He knew. He knew he was in trouble. Okay, so all that you find is a shooting star. Well, I'll definitely take it, but... Okay, well then I guess I'll have to go back to... This over here. If it's okay with the owner of the channel, I would join. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, that would be uh, our good friend uh, Cole NL112. And, and, of course, our good friend Bragg. Although, really, you know, although really, it it, it, it just comes down to, uh, I mean, because I have had guests on the show before, and, uh, you know, Cole never had any objections or anything like that. Otherwise, I, I probably would have asked him beforehand, but even still, I totally get that. Hmm, I might have to get some FP or something. Nonetheless, though, you're more than welcome to um, watch the show here. But yeah, it's a little different, though. Okay. Ooh. Of course, I do hate those uh, stupid little bats. And then Phantom Gamers lurking. Or Phantom, if you want to also join and do so. Oh, I forgot. You're, uh, I forgot that you're... Uh, not at your computer right now. I forgot you're on your phone, but still. 
Hopefully I do get to speak with you. Um, legit, really. <laughs> okay, too bad I don't have any... Uh... Well, what I mean by that is do co-commentary or or even just talk to you over uh, Discord, you know, things like that. But but I mean, I, I but I, I but then I remembered, oh yeah, you're on your phone. And oh, well, it looks like we have another new enemy to tattle. I I hey, I hope it, it happens sooner than later, I'm telling you. All right, let me get this guy off his broom. This is a yellow magic Koopa. He is one of the mus the magicians in the Koopa clan. Yellow is the new black, didn't you know? Max HP is 11, attack power is 3. He can use magic to give his companions an electric charge. While his co cohorts are electrified, don't attack them directly or you'll be in for a shocking surprise. And I can get pretty loud. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Got two down. I'm getting slow. <sighs> yeah. All right, For first first person I, I need to get rid of is this guy right here. All right, so he's out. Let's see. Oh, of course, Lackey Lester. He could probably help me with this one. Yep, got him. It sounds... Ugh. There. Well, I was... I didn't want to have to use this, but I'm going to use it. But then again, I did just get it, so at least it's justified. Got him. All right, now I can just do one. I can just deal with one. Okay, good. All right, Lackey Lester, finish him off here, buddy. Although I'm getting a lot of money, though. Is it in here? Ah, it's right here. The... The... Oh, decrease. Oh, P down, D up badge. I, I'm not going to use this badge. I know some people who are experts at badges would, but I'm not going to use it. I'm not using it, so. Okay, so we've done everything we need to do here. But what happens if I go outside here? Okay, so I just end up on this side right here. Oh, but there is a secret, I believe. Yep, you get a star piece, but it doesn't let you get out. So you don't get to go to Mirrorland or anything like that. Which I thought was pretty cool for what it was. K, 
Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to go back to uh, the other side. But the good thing is at least most of the enemies have been taken care of. And then, if I remember, oh yeah, let me save again. I, I will say it, it, it's really nice to be able to save every now and then. Oh, and also there, there's, there was an X here before, but now there's a hole, which wasn't there before. But before I get that, I do remember. No wait. Not here. I, I could have sworn that there was a, a... Is it down here? Let me see. Right, right over here. I... I there's the that's it that's what I was looking for all right now we can move forward and plus never be afraid to rege uh, regenerate your health or find a, uh, a heart block because that can always come back to help you I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that right now oh let me let me make sure that <laughs> Pretty cool. Someone shared a DM with me. All right, now we can go down here for the first time. What's up? What's down here? Gotta be careful. Well, it looks like we know what we need to do. All right, let's get Bombette. No, I don't need to use an item. Great job. What? Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which one is the real Bombette. You can tell, right? Blow you up if you do. Although I kind of, I, I kind of had an inkling as to which one of these guys are the imposters or not. Ready? Oh, okay. Oh, missed it there. And making his official debut is a good friend of mine. Uh, someone who has been a very good friend of mine the, for the best part of two years. Uh, uh, my good friend, well, you may as well introduce yourself. Hello, I'm AJ Cool Kid 2. Yes, AJ is with me. Oh, and, really? Oh, I, I don't know if you saw that, but Bombette actually gave gave me a kiss. 
And, ooh, we have a treasure here. Let's see what this is. What's this? Oh, the red key. Okay, so now we know oh. we're... Now we need to go back to that door. Anyway, what do you think of this game? It's fun. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's I'm... one of my childhood games. Yes, it is. <laughs> when you were just a little AJ. Then again, it... I mean, I was more familiar with the next installment. You probably already know. Thousand, you already know. Thousand Year Door. Yeah, that one was the one I grew up with. Um, the, uh, in fact, it was the very first um, role-playing game I ever played. Because I was terrible at role-playing games. I don't know if you knew. No. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Something's a mist here, but let me see what's behind this door. Ah, uh, I see what this is. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to take on this guy and his friend behind him. Well, anyway. But no, really, what do you think of this game? Very fun and strategic. You have to be very strategic. You have to be very strategic. Of course. All right, let's find out who this Gray Magikoopa is. This is Gray Magikoopa. He is one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Hmm. Well, that kind of... Actually, I'll get back to that in a moment. Those gray robes aren't very flashy, but they're kind of cool. Max HP is 11, attack power is 3, defense is 0. He can use magic to make his companions transparent. We can't attack enemies when they're transparent. Let's try to beat them before they can do that. Yeah, exactly. And of course, in doing that, it makes it much tougher for us to attack, so... Okay. Well, that's not going to stop me from attacking you. Not, not you, AJ, but the Magic Koopa. I know. Ow! Hmm. Okay, so I can't hurt him while he's still transparent, so... Let's see. What, I think what... it's like two turns or three turns. Yeah, apparently so. And I already focused, or... Let me see. Well, I could still refresh, though. That's what I'll do. Let me see. Who else could... You know what? You know what? Two can play at this game here. Out of sight. Let's put that. Yeah, now now you know how it feels, huh? Not you, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm going to probably be there sooner or later. Oh, of course. AJ is also doing this on his own uh, channel. Okay, so it turns out that when you beat... Um, a clubba, you take out a statue from behind. So it, 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 apparently, if I was to go behind the door, like, I may as well show. If I was to go through this door, but on the other side, I wouldn't been, I would not been, I would not be able to do it because there would have been a statue that would have prevented me from doing this. So it is better to take these guys out right now. And yes, I did do a southern accent. But of course that was kind of something that I got from AJ, so there you go. A little tribute to you. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so that 
That didn't work. Okay. Hmm. What should I use? Oh, of course, I have my, uh, shooting star. Again, never be afraid to use your items. Although, although, personally, AJ, how do you play this game when you're, um, when you play Mario, uh, Mar Paper Mario? Can't talk. I try to knock out the enemies that give me trouble like healing or stat boosts I get them out of the way first oh of course okay so he just healed this time oh that's the white magic Koopa all he does is heal so I might need to get rid of him next so and also uh, and, and just as a food for thought uh, definitely change up your strategy depending on who you're facing and and if the situation itself or the enemies themselves change <clears throat> their tactics so cuz unless you're fighting goombas yeah you have to change your strategy every now and then ow okay time to lay the smackdown on your monkey ass not you but <laughs> i always have to preference i'm not talking to aj when i say that <laughs> and of course we have yet another one. Oh crap. Now we have Now we have a green one. A green oh, magic Koopa. Great. Yeah, that th this is this is beautiful, huh? Very beautiful. Well, you know what? I I really was I was really hoping not to have to use this, but I'm gonna use it right now. I'm gonna use Timeout. And what that does is it freezes enemies for X amount of time. That way you can pick them apart one by one. And and for four turns, okay, cool. That, that'll help tremendously. In the meantime, who is this green magic Koopa here? This is a green magic Koopa. Y yes, we know he's part of the Koopa clan. Of course, that kind of reminds me of another clan, which I'll mention behind the scenes, though. Which I'll mention in another video on my own channel. But in the meantime, I have to admit, I like those green robes. Very cool. Wait. AJ, what is your favorite color? I forgot to ask you that. Green. Okay, that kind of makes sense why your character in the wrestling series wore green. And you know, that's very interesting. You know why? Why? Okay, remember how when you had your match... Well, and, and this was on my channel, by the way. But when you had the match on the on the WWE 2K series at basically our version of WrestleMania, which kind of funnily enough, today is uh, day one of WrestleMania, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yes. But uh, <laughs> while I compared uh, Drawer Man to Kenta Kobayashi, I compared you to Mitsuharu Mizawa. And the funny thing is, his his main color is, as you can guess, green. So, so it, it all goes back full circle. But I just thought, but the moment I saw the green magic goop, I'm like, oh crap. Anyway, now that we got that straightened out, uh, I take it you're still laughing at that. Yes. Okay. Let me go back to what, what's his face, Lackey Lester. 
with this spiny surge. I mean, of all the characters, uh, or partners, I should say, which one do you happen to, I guess you could say, use the most? Eve, I, it's a tie between Bo and Watt. Hmm. Okay. Well, what are, what are the, um... Any particular reason, or is it their range of attacks that best fits your playstyle? For Bo, I like to use her as defense, like out of sight. And then with Watt, whenever she's when whenever you have her first um, partner power up, her their, her attack does five damage. Mhm. Mm her basic, her normal attack does five damage. Oh yeah, that I could totally see that. All right, so we took out one. But yeah, we're just slowly but surely picking them apart. But we're getting close to another level up, though. Nice. Although I I do hate that one particular attack that he does, but never. But no matter. I'm just gonna destroy him right now. And we got a level up. Okay. I can go to 24 batch points. Um, I'll, I'll save up. I'll save help for another time, or I could go to 40 FP. What should I do? I would do FP because you're going to be needing it quite a lot for this upcoming boss fight sooner or later. Okay, I will do that. Okay, so it does so it looks like I have to go through that door on the other side. Very interesting. Before I go any further though. Oh, right. I didn't have to do that. And then of course if I go through this door, it'll just take me to where I was, but I had already been there. So, I just need to go this way now. But yeah, if you didn't defeat the enemies on the on the in the foreground, then the statues in the background where I am right now would have prevented you. So that if you didn't take out all the statues, there's no way you can get to this door. But now you can. And oh dear, what is this? What in the heck is this? Oh, I know what I need to do. Everything okay there, Mr. AJ? Yes. Oh, I see what I need to do. So I need to use Bombette to set off the switch, but then get on this, this conveyor belt to get on the other side. And then, of course, I can't go back this way, but I have to go this way. This is so weird how you can go back and forth between all these things, man. <laughs> yes, I got a first strike, baby. And with Bombette, too. All right. Time to lay the smack down on your monkey ass. Yes, I am a big wrestling fan. <laughs> hmm. Might have to switch up my members again. Um, well, I'll, 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 without... And actually, I don't even think it's much of a spoiler because he's only the second partner in thousand year door but for the very reasons that you listed although it's more in line with my own play style 
my favorite partner in Thousand Year Door is Koops. Because he just gives, like, sure, he can't jump. I mean, of course, there's obviously partners that are better suited for that. But for but when you're just dealing with enemies that are on the ground and there's multiples of them, Koops, dude, he is awesome in that game, man. But, of course, obviously, one has to know how to use him. But, and, but of course, and it also depends on the playstyle. But for my playstyle, he's awesome, man. I like him. I don't. I don't know who your favorite partner in that game is, though. And for me, it's another tug between Vivian and Koops. Hmm. And I think I know exactly why in the case of Koops. Uh, but why Vivian, though? She has a great widespread of a wide range fire attack that constantly does burn damage. Oh yeah, that's right. She can cause burn damage, and especially from a distance, in that she doesn't... Well, there is one. Well, Veil Punch is one, but... But, um... But another fire attack she can Fiery do... Fiery Jinx. That's it. Fiery Jinx. And she can use that move from a distance, which I can't tell you how... That also helps uh, make her very useful, too. Incredible. Oh, shoot. Okay, finally I got that timed out. Ow! Alright. Alright, you're, you're, you're done, Mr. Magikoopa. But no, but no, Vivian is awesome. I, I like, I like Vivian. She's, she's awesome. But yeah, guys, uh, for those of you watching on the Much Games Guides channel exclusively, yeah, definitely check out my good friend AJ. And what in the heck is this? Okay. Although I kind of wonder, how do you get on this side? Something and tells me. They're like a... Wait. Uh, they're by... Out of the wall that... Uh, if you go back, there's like a. I, I saw I think a crack. There's like a bomb on the other side of the wall. I saw a crack. Let's see what happens here. Can I do it here? Yes, I can. Okay. But obviously, there's no way you would have known unless you were observing. But. Gotcha! What? Oh, crap. There's four of them. All right. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but I'm, I'm going to do it right now. And it's time. No, wait. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's go to... Oh, I'm going to use Lullaby. What that does is it just puts your opponents to sleep, and then we can just pick them apart one by one, so... Let's see what happens here. Huh? Anyway, you were going to say something. I'm sorry. I would have done chill out first. <laughs> oh. oh, well, chill out just simply lowers your um, opponent's attack power. I would only use that if... Um... Yeah, I would only use that if their attack power was like obscenely high to a to a point Espe I, I, I would probably use that against enemies that attack multiple times as opposed to a, as opposed to a single time because if it's if it's the form if it's the latter than the former then i would probably use um oh i'm sorry chill out that's i'll have to look at that again i'm, I'm probably confusing one for another my bad Chill out is. Oh, I'm thinking of timeout. Timeout's pretty good. Uh oh. But yeah, I totally get. I'm... But yeah, I I I totally get you, Mister Mister Cool Kid. Ow! Alright, 
right, that's it. All right, back to you, Cooper. Ow. Hmm. Although now that you said it, I could totally see why you would why you suggested. So, I'm sorry, AJ. <laughs> Because if you're dealing with multiple enemies, it'll keep you getting your health taken down quite a bit. Yeah, as I'm starting to learn right now. <laughs> lullaby is a good one, but I see Lullaby is best see fit for the earlier chapters because I... there's there's more or less enemy encounters. While in in the later games, there's gonna be more enemy encounters. And as always, refresh is always useful when needed. smooch when I'm in dire situations. Oh, of course. And, and one has to. Okay, good. I finally I finally blocked at that time. And finally they're done. Although I'm getting a lot of money though. The triple dip badge. Well, that's good if you like using items, but really, I, I just I don't I don't find it all that much useful, really. <clears throat> I mean, double dip is one thing, but yeah, it's just not that practical, man. You could also done it with um poops. As well. Oh, I could have. Oh, um, well. Let me see what's behind this door again. <laughs> what? Going to the other one. Oh, I see what they're doing here. Watch you. Uh, it's. What? <laughs> Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you reading this? Oh, I gotta stand up, man. Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course, you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me. I'm the real deal. No one else looks like Cooper. What? Exactly. Mario, come on. I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, Sonny. You believe me, don't you? I'm the real Cooper. It, there isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Or, sorry, brother! <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, and then the old Koopa's talking again. Or, not the old Koopa, but the one with the mustache. Okay, old B. You best smash these imposters one by one. Yeah, it's a good idea. Brother! Smash them except me, okay? Who do you think you are, Hulk Hogan? Now, I don't... Now, I don't advocate for beating up the elderly, but in this case... You must have some sort... You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Yeah, that's... that's um, um, however, that is an imposter, so that's why I did what I did. How? Still, good job. Sunny wrong. 
Really? You must you must have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. Oh, it's really funny if you hit the real one. It's <laughs> like an Easter egg. That's funny. I mean, I, I've said I was the real Cooper so many times, so mean. Oh, you thought so, too. Well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. And then, just like Daniel Bryan, he says, Yes, yes, good call, Mario. I knew you get it right. Yes, they were the worst disguises ever. Like, one could easily be fooled unless you're reading the text. I mean, I would I would say something else, but I'm, I don't want to get in trouble, so. Alright, so now we can go through this door, or this pathway here. But, what's behind this door, man? Actually, there's two doors here. Let's see what's behind this one. Oh, wait a minute. We got a maple syrup. Ooh, that's going to be very, very useful. But, but in the words of Alberto Del Rio, you already knew that. And we have a star piece. We actually found one. What's in here? <gasps> well. Oh, wow. What the heck is this? It looks like a dino rhino from It'll back in... Huh? Yeah. Oh, someone's trying to... Is anyone trying to message me? Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, well, it looks like I can't do anything with that uh, statue, so... Wait, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to hit the switch, and it activates on the other side. Although, how the hell did that work? Really, how? It's obviously video game logic. And you know what? Since you said it, since you said it. What did you say it was? Video game logic. Video game logic. Yes, it was video game logic. Video game logic. I don't know why. I just get a, a big kick out of, you know, Chickmunk TJ saying video game logic. As much as he gets a kick out of, you know, every time we have ice puns or – especially now that we're in a stone-cold castle, it is full of ice, ice, baby. dun 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 How was your Saturday, though? Well, it's probably the most relaxing I've had since I didn't have to worry about putting a show together. Like, like usually, you know how I, I, I would have shows that last like five, six hours and, and whatnot? Mm-hmm. So I, 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 I was able to just... I, I, I did finish... I did... Um, like last night as well as today. Well, last night I was making Black Magic, em Emily and um, and Liliana. And then today I did the uh, the the monsoon duet. Um, just before this show. 
Oh, I see what. Okay. So on the on the on the foreground behind that door, there was a statue that was really big. Is that this one is very small? And you can move. Can you move it? Yes, you can. And I fell down a hole. Well, a literal hole. <laughs> and, oh, now I made the first strike. Oh, crap. Okay. I really hope, I was really hoping I wouldn't have to use this, but I'm going to use it. The Super Shroom. Oh. I mean, look how many enemies we have right now. Try the, let me try this one. The Dizzy Shell. Oh, nice. I got actually... Okay, I made him dizzy for three turns. All right, that's good. I'll, I'll take that. Next well, turn, dude, chill out. Even though I know they're dizzy and stuff, it will... but you, can, you can focus on the one that's on the broom. Okay. Next turn, I will do that. But let's take out the white magic Koopa. That's probably the main thing. Mm-hmm. I would mega stomp it. Okay. Um. What should I get? Uh. Oh yeah, Lackey Lester, because he can attack from a distance, especially like, were it not for those uh, clubbas, especially when they're holding up those. Uh... What about what about Sushi's tidal wave? She can do it too. Oh yeah, let's. You know what? Sushi, let's give Sushi some, some showtime. Tidal Wave. Let's see. Press the buttons as shown. Okay. Okay. Well, wasn't perfect, but it could have been better. Well, anyway, that takes out the white Magic Koopa, so that's out. Alright, and then what was the one again? Chill out? Yes. It lowers their... Oh, it, it lowers it by three. Oh! Well, that makes a huge difference. I should have... That just goes to show what happens when... That just goes to show what happens when you don't read. Fiat is one of my favorite star spirits besides Starstorm. Uh, wait. Uh, you, you got cut off. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. Chill out is one of my favorites besides Starstorm. Ah, okay. And let's see. Okay, I'm. Let me switch out again. But I'm gonna switch out to Lackey Lester because again, he can, he can attack from a distance, and I can now pick these guys off one at a time. And I'm gonna start with the Magic Koopa because I know that if I don't take care of him right now, he's just going to become a menace. There we go. So now the now both Magic Koopas are out. So now I can just focus on each of these guys one at a time. And thanks to uh, Chill Out, now... Yeah, I mean... No damage being taken. No! <laughs> AJ, you, you are... You worry about timing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, mind you, I already had the defense uh, plus badge beforehand mm -hmm. though I but would it gets only... tiring with those multiple hits oh of course but anyway as I was uh, anyway as I was gonna say I oh now I forgot what I was gonna say damn it um oh yeah the defense plus badge that's a badge that I would recommend you using if you're not good with timing, like defending your, like defensive timing, which I'm not, so. But uh, but if you're really good at it, and, and you don't need it, then you can use something else. But then again, that's why I like this game, because you can play it however you want to, and you can still be pretty good at it. As as well. 
Okay. What's down here? And we have a treasure. The P up, D down badge. Look at that treasure. P. Okay. Now, before I say anything about it, what do you have to say about the P up, D down badge? That don't remind me of up, up, down, down. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask, like, and, and what I meant by that was, do you use it, or and if you do, how do you use it, or do you just not bother no. with it at all? I don't even bother with it. And neither do I, because it's like... It, it, it's like, unless you know how to... Unless you know how to defend, which uh, obviously you can clearly tell I can't, but if uh, but unless you know how to do it, I would not recommend it either. Although I know that some people, some experts that know how to defend, definitely get a use out of that badge, I can just tell you that. Alright, now to, now to go back to the other side. Hmm... Although, I wonder what happens if I do this. No. no. Oh. Nope, doesn't work. Oh, no. I meant to go back the other way, darn it. So that means we have to go back down here. And of course, now that the... And it's so weird because just like a mirror, what affects one side affects the other. So now we can go down this hole. First strike, baby. Ooh. Okay, so now we have a collection of enemies and they're all on the ground. Okay. So, AJ, what should I do? Oof. Okay. I would take up the gray one first. Uh-huh. Because he'll make them invisible. Uh, oh, that's right. But Dizzy... Yeah. He can. With Coop, Dizzy Shell. Okay, so attack him, and then... Dizzy, dizzy shell everybody dizzy else. Shell. All right, let's let's do that then. Yes. I'm I'm also gonna mega stomp him too while I'm at it. Ooh, ten, ten, ten damage, baby. D dizzy shell coming up. All right, here we go. Okay. So I got him. Oh, okay. So everybody except the red Magikoopa got dizzy. Well, at least that kind of didn't. Everybody else got dizzy. No, no. Uh, everybody but the red Magikoopa got dizzy. Sorry. Well, that kind of. Uh, well, that that kind of. Uh, let's see. All right, now to power shell these guys. And that takes out the great uh, Magikoopa. He's out. And it looks like he's powering the other guy. Okay. I have. I actually have an idea of what to do. But first, let's take out this red Magikoopa before he does any more. He's out. Okay. Um... I would probably go with Bow to do out of sight, I'd take it. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. And then and then the other person just transformed into Bow even though we were transparent. Ooh, 
Okay. Oh wow, I, I got the smack laid down on me. But thankfully not as bad as it could have been. Alright, well one is gone. Out of sight again. Although I am running low on FP though. <laughs> although al although the miss is kind of funny though, if you saw what happened there. Mm-hmm. Jeez, I mean, she just laid the smack down on me. Well, no, no, no bother. I can just finish her off for good. There she goes. Although that's a lot of money, though. Okay. Normally I don't do this, but I'm going to do it because... I'm running low. But like anything else in life, don't be don't don't be afraid to um, to go back to the to go back to the nearest um, uh, what is it healing block. If you need to heal up, got to do it. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe it is vomit. My bad. Yeah, because I tried it with Coops or Cooper, excuse me, but it didn't work. So. Yes, I know that this is uh, a big. Um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I know that this is um, a hard left turn, but. Sometimes you have to do it. Mm -hmm. Though I will say it was much nicer in the next game. Because there just seemed to be a lot more healing blocks. Though you'll see what... But you will see what they did with those particular blocks if you ever get a chance to play the game. Of course AJ knows. Right, I'm supposed to go the other way. But yeah, man, this castle is a maze, man. But unfortunately, that particular enemy's back. But we don't need to fight them again. I mean, because we already went through all that trouble. Um. Yeah. I signed up for something. What? Something for tomorrow. Is it our? Is it our good friend Tina? Me? No. Oh. oh. And of course I get caught in this one again. I was actually trying to avoid it this time, if only because I had already done it. Alright, so what do I alright, so what what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? I guess the only thing I can do is time out. So that's what I will do. Oh, lovely. Um Oh, I, I already picked it. Never mind. 
I, I picked timeout. Yeah, that's the best safe bet. And for how long? Let's see. All, all, all four of them for four turns. That's really good. Now we can just pick them apart right now. Let's see. What could I do? I, I could use Mega Bomb or sorry, Power Bomb. Sorry, Power Bomb. I know there's other options that are more frugal. In fact, that's what I will go to next. Lackey Lester. Spiny Surge. Got him. And of course, I am going to take out these Magic Koopas too while I'm at it. All right, so the all right, so the gray one is gone. All right, so now we can just pick them off one at a time from here. All right. I'm going to use the focus to refill my star power. I don't know if you watched any of WrestleMania or uh, Stand and Deliver. Oh, I forgot you were at work. I watched a little bit of WrestleMania. Oh, okay. Okay. What? Well, I, I mean, and then for anybody I that was... I watched some of the matches. <laughs> well, I hope they delivered for the most part. They did. And I'm kind of happy with certain some of the outcomes. Oh, okay. Oh, now we finally got to this. Ch oh, that's and, and and to think we were so close. If only I didn't decide to go back because we were right there and I didn't know. In fact, I had no idea we were that close. But okay. We got the palace key. I take it it will open one of those. Um, uh. One of those padlock doors that we saw a little earlier. Now the question is... Which side should I open? Or does it open both sides? Do I go to the right? Or do I... Well, do I go to the background or the foreground to open this door? There's only one key, damn it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go with this one. Oh, it it actually unlocks both sides. Well shit. Well that makes my decision easier. <sighs> Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you Because you're gonna through. have to look maybe Oh, uh... But I've got to the other door and push in. Okay, I'm I'm starting to get this one. Whoa. 
Um, yeah. You're not gonna believe who won the tag team champions. Um. Did did the uh, did the awesome truth win? Yes, they won one of the belts. And did um. And did Austin Theory and Grayson Waller win the other, or did someone else did? I think Austin Theory and them did. And we no, solved the unified puzzle. Unified tag team. Sorry. Oh, sorry if I interrupted. Yes, they won between Gunther and um. Sammy. Zayn. Yes. Sammy. Sammy broke the streak. Yes. And oh, finally we got a, a healing block, and we have a save block. And if I know what this means, is this what I think this means, AJ San? Yep, for Rooney. So, okay, so I'm gonna go through the boss, and it looks like okay, I'm gonna have to go through the boss, and then the soonest I can uh, close out the the show, I will do that. But first, I let me save really quickly. Okay. Oh God, I am so nervous for this one because I understand that this is perhaps the toughest boss we've had to date. And let's see, I have an Ultra Shroom, so at least I have something to heal a lot of damage and I have two life strooms and a maple syrup so that's what I have at my disposal oh who comes to my palace what is that what is that is that a crown yeah. You finally arrived. <laughs> I know you believe you can save the star spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you. First I first I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. Oh god. Okay. So now the question this is, is where I would use chill out from the off I would use chill out because look all those those crystal shards that he has uh huh okay and, it's and good he'll be I... doing damage to you too okay then I will use it then I won't worry about tattling the others but I can I can at least tattle uh, whoever this guy is, if I'm allowed to, which I will. Yes. This, this is the Crystal King. He is one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to take over this place, or this palace, excuse me. But, 70 HP, attack power 6, and defense power 2. He'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. That's what he calls them. The power of each attack is 4. The number of times he attacks equals the number of crystal bits he deployed. And he will also try to freeze you whenever he can. When his HP gets low, he may try to divide and conquer. The power of this attack is 8. You can only hurt him by attacking his real body. If you don't know which is, which is the main body, you should attack all of them. Pretty, bill pretty brilliant. Okay. Well, thank you for thank you for the ad advice because that definitely helps. So now I can, I can just attack him normally. Yes, I will. Yes. I don't know if he has. And you know what I recommend? Yeah. Mega stomp. Mega stomp. Okay. And any any particular partners I should use? Um. I would use what? I got what? 
and then use do her do the basic electro dash. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ooh, that does do some damage though. Oh, now he's got those damn crystal bits again. Although the effect on those crystal bits are back to normal, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's not going to work on... When he attacks with them, it'll still be zero. Oh. I would just go ahead and um, keep attacking the king. Or right. if you want to go ahead and jump on the crystals. Because I think they have like two or three HP. Mm -hmm. it, or, or Power Quake will do. Power Quake will do. Wait, Power Quake. Does that attack all of them? Your hammer to attack all enemies? To get no. the crystals? No. Oh, oh, that's right, because they're not on the ceiling and they're not underground. Okay, so that does not work. Okay. I'll still attack the king, though. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I only got five. Okay. Well, <laughs> probably didn't do it right, though. Another Electro Dash, baby. Oh. Yep, yeah, it's still zero. It still does zero damage, though. All right, I'm gonna try one more Mega Jump. Okay, there, there we go. Okay, oh, that's right. He only he has. Uh, I keep forgetting he has two defense power, so it only does it's eight defense. damage. Yeah, two defense. Sorry. Oh, I see why you picked Electro Dash because it penetrates defense power. I love it. AJ, you are such a genius, dude. <laughs> Even though she's not... That's why I picked her for the... For whenever I'm fighting the Crystal King. Hmm. Oh, you held it for too long on that one. Yeah, I just realized I did that. Okay, I can still do some damage here. Alright, let's try one more time. Okay, that time got it. Uh oh, the, the 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 effect has just worn off. Yeah, so then that's where you start um defending and let and then let, let your star gauge fill back up. Then use sure. another chill out. Okay, I have enough to use a chill out if I really want to, or do I? If you, I would wait. Because you're almost already halfway done with him. So I think you should be good. Okay. Then in that case, I will do another Mega Stomp right now. Yep, 8 damage. Got him. Let's see, what is power... Okay, Power Shock para paralyzes an enemy, and then... Turbo Charge boosts Mario's attack power for a short time. Hmm. I wonder if I can use the turbo charge. Try it. All right. Yep, got it. Perfect. Oh, nice. I, I actually blocked that. All right. Oh, and he used... Damn it, he... He healed himself. How much did he do? 20. Now he's back to 33 again. I think he only does it once. Okay. No, nope, he did it again. Oh, whenever I guess I got lucky when I fought him last. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to start using I'll use a maple syrup for this one Let's see, Power Shock. I wonder if this... Okay, let's try that. Nope, that didn't work. I thought I thought I could do it, but I didn't. Yeah, Power Shock does not work on bosses. Mm, okay. Good to... Good to know. Good to know. Alright, back to the stomp. Ooh, nine damage, baby! Uh oh, now he's now he's this is getting serious now. Okay, he's down to fourteen. All right, now he's gonna do his double attack. No oh way. yeah, watch. Um, on this one, I recommend you switch into sushi and do the tidal weave. Switch to sushi, okay. And right. do tidal wave if you have enough for the tidal wave. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna and, and I do have uh, the switch out badge, which allows me to switch out a partner without losing a turn. So I have that badge, thankfully. Tidal wave time. And I do have just enough for one. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Wish me luck. Got him. For how much damage, though? Oh, it was the one in the back. Oh, and I got frozen. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, now belly flop. Belly flop. Oh. Or go back to what? I, that's fine. Electro dash will do. Okay, but now I'm down to. Okay. This time, Star Storm. End it. Where's? Well, right now it's Dash's turn, or Watt's turn. What? Uh. I. Uh. I'm trying to think. Um. Who has what that can do that? Uh. Wait, I know what I could do. Let me, uh. Let me. Oh, I don't even have enough for out of sight, damn it. Go for the center? Well, it's worth a shot. What do you think? Do smack and guess. I know it's a bad thing, but it's your only kind of option. And I picked the wrong one. Okay, seven. Okay, that's... All right, I can take the hit there. All right, Star Storm. And end it. And the Star Spirit eliminates the Crystal King. And we got 42 points out of that. Awesome. Oh no, the last Star Spirit. King Bowser, forgive me. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I survived that, AJ, but... I have to thank you for it, man. I don't know if you want to do some voice acting. 
there, but I'm a little bit delayed. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Shit. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I mean, I am the host, after all. But now we have the, the mustache guy. The mustache uh, star. But it is the end of the chapter. Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace, or as I called it, the Stone Cold Castle. Although I don't think, I don't really think it was that Stone Cold. If, but if you did think, but if you didn't think it was Stone Cold, you can just give me a hell no. Okay, you're not gonna say it. Okay. <laughs> Now with the seven star <laughs> spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it is time for Mario's showdown with the King Bowser. Can Mario rescue Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod? Or will wishes go or will wishes forever go ungranted? Cat talk. Alright. I will um I'll do the epilogue, which is, I think, your favorite parts, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you like Peach, don't you? Yes. I wish I knew if I was helping him at all. Of course you are. I wonder what he's doing now. And of course, if you could. I wish I was helping him at all. Oh. Well. Mario will be fine. You should be proud of your efforts, and I don't know why I sound like Mickey Mouse. The Mario. Is back. Oh no. Mario knows all. Knows all you've done, and don't you worry, Princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. I hope you're right, Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Now, let's go back to the room, shall we? I, I'm surprised I even did the voice, really, if I'm not... Oh, no. Oh, Princess Peach. Your cuddly old Bowser's here. Well, you don't exactly look like a teddy bear, do you? It's a good thing that this was not Peach today, because Peach today probably would lay the smack down on his candy ass, really. But at the time, she still was part of the conventions of the damsel of distress back then. But anyway, he says, Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let's see a smile. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill. A, a pill? Since when did Peach become a pill? You're stuck with me for a long time, beautiful. You better get used to it. Mario is coming, Bowser. And you can't stop him. <laughs> you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with this star rod. Didn't you know Mario's no match for me? He's history. Get over it. Your raunchiness. We have an emergency. It better be important. I'm in the middle of a friendly conversation with this princess. Mario has saved all the star spirits. There is a chance he could be used. He could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. Mario. All right. Listen, Cappy Koopa, send everyone to their posts. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come with me to watch? You can have a front row seat to get Mar to see Mario get crushed. You. Yeah, you. Tie her up immediately. And if she gets out this time, heads will roll. I'm surprised, you I'm surprised that line stayed in the... Twink, you're Big Koopa. Show some respect to the princess.
sex. What is this whiny little glittery thing? Confetti? Gah, fuzz off. And then he, then he bit slaps Twink. Take the princess now. All right, you can do this last part. Which part? What Peach is saying now that she's being held up. No! <laughs> but, but, but Twink just got bitch slapped, man. No, put me down. All right, well, now back on Earth. Oh, I can do this. I, I will definitely do this voice. <laughs> My name is Kamar, Mario. Well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully rescued all of us star spirits. We are in your debt. Now all that is left for you to do is to challenge Bowser. My power shall help you. To bring back the Star Rod. To beat Bowser. To bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom. And to save Princess Peach. And what is this last power? Mario Star Energy rose up, goes up to seven. Mario can use up and away. What is this? A one-hit move sends it's the battle immediately over. You but kind of like bows, right? It only works on normal enemies, obviously. Yep. First. From Shooting Star Summit, we'll summon, we'll prepare the route to Star Heaven. I mean, Haven. The name of this route is Star Way. Once you travel the Star Way, you can finally reach Star Heaven. I mean, Haven. My only wish for you is to save this precious world. You can do it, Mario. Goodbye for now. I'm surprised I was able to even do the voice. Heck, I'm surprised I was even able to do Princess Peach's voice. Although, I know that you're an expert in doing Princess Peach's voice, but how was mine? You did pretty well. Which I'm shocked I, I was able to do it, but... Okay, so <laughs> what I will do here is go to the nearest... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go into town really quickly. You know, to Shiver City. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it, apparently by... By uh, eliminating the Crystal King, all of his subjects are done. Oh, never mind. Well, looks like we have another battle. Well, thankfully we're at full power and we have new a new star spirit. Now, what does this do? Up and away turns enemies into stars and blows them away. But I'll I'll save that for when I really need it, if that's what I'm supposed to use that for. I'll take that as a yes. I if you want to see what it does, go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll have to just use an attack, just, just to get to his turn. I like how in the late in, in the next game, they allow you to um, what's the word? Defend on your turn, instead of, you know. But all right, we're, we'll we'll test this out. We're gonna show off what up and away does. Yep. Okay, so it does do it, it does do um, eliminate them, but you don't get any star points, unfortunately. I could see why. As I said, it was kind of like bow scare. Ah. Oh, 
Uh oh. All right, trying. Time for. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Let's take these guys out. But yeah, my plan is just to get into um, Shipper City and, and, and call it a video. At least then I can rest and recuperate and everything like that and call it a day. That's what I'll do. Okay. But anyway, thank you, AJ, for coming in. You're welcome. And correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you say you were going to do a, a video of your own? Ow. That's tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I, I took out this uh, rock-eating uh, monster. I forgot his name already. I, I was, I'll, I'll say this, though. Lackey Lester starting to prove himself worthy. Especially with all the things that he can do. Oh crap. Now we have Now it looks like we have uh four of these things. Okay. Well, good thing good thing we're not that far off from the town. So we can just go buck wild here. Took out one. Ow. Uh. Everything okay there? Jay? Yeah? My character's not gonna be having no kids tonight. Wait, what happened? <laughs> the Ms. Low blowed my character. On, on what show? I'm 2K24. I'm just testing out my ring on a gauntlet. Oh, I I thought you, I thought it was on. Cause a, you know how a show Atticus show. was having trouble. Uh -huh. No, no, no. You know how Atticus was having um trouble with gauntlets. Yeah. I'm testing one on mine, and the Miz just low blowed main character. And I'm I'm nearly maxing out on coins, so it might actually be worth it to um, to to buy stuff. Good job there, Lackey Lester, as he eliminates three in a row. Great job there, Lackey Lester. Oh, nice. Finally got some hearts. And now we're back to that star or the start block that we were at when we last less when we last left it off from when we left off from last episode. I can't talk. Isn't that nice? Wait, I can't talk. <laughs> Alright, now we're now we're in the winter wonderland. And and there's so much snow dropping and it's full of ice ice baby. Dun 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 Oh I didn't even see that guy. Okay. 
Well, thankfully, I'm close to town, so I can just go to town on these guys. Ow. Oh, shit. Well, well, this is one of those times where I would use it, and I'm going to use it. And this is actually the first time I, I'm even using it to begin with, and that's the smooch. So at least you now get to see what it looks like. But now we can finally get rid of these bastards once and, once and for all, so there you go. Although we're getting close to another level up, though. So that's good. Oh, I got a Super Shroom. Nice. D Damn it, I got hit again. Although this time, although I did block that. Alright, cool. Well, thank thankfully, there's only two, so I can just attack them one at a time. Ow! Okay, that time I blocked it. Alright, one down, one to go. So nine more points away from another level up, and I imagine with this next level up, AJ, I would, I would probably pick uh, uh, badge points. And we made it to Shiver City. Merry Christmas, AJ. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you were still in there. A little early. I am. I'm just reading something. Oh. A novel or something? Not a novel, but, um... Something what? else. What the... Look at this! Mario, I took a nap, and when I woke up, there were all these items. Look at this! Look at all these... Lucky you. And it was the weirdest thing. The floor was all wet as if snow had melted everywhere. Do you think someone left these as a present for you, Mario? But who would do that? Yeah, that's a good question. Who would do that? Hmm. Although I could probably use some of these mushroom. Okay, never mind. I can... I'll... Let me get this potato, though. Not that I need any of the mushrooms, though. Although, I'll just use one just to... The, there we go. Yum, 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 yum. I mean, I, it, it is true. I am on shrooms. But finally, we got to the save block, and I have full energy and everything. So I want to say thank you to AJ for helping me get through that one. Man, that was tough, dude. But I don't know if you have any uh, words to say. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Yeah. It was – I want to thank you for having me on here. 
Yes, and for those who watch, I just on... now finished. Well, for those of you Go who ahead. watch on uh, Much Games Guides, um, of course, if you happen to go to my own channel, you'll know a lot more about AJ. And in fact, you can also find more, find out more about AJ uh, at his own channel. Uh, very good friend of mine. In fact, he's been a good friend of mine for like the best part of two years. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> But, um, I mean, of course, I have to thank another friend of ours, um, Elmeister, because he introduced me and uh, AJ. Actually, he, he introduced me to uh, another set of friends uh, that he has, and one of them was uh, one of them was Ryan, actually, and then, uh, and then of his friends was you, and by you I mean AJ. <laughs> So I want to say thank you to, to, to AJ, and also, oh, no, not that button. I want to create a restore point. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I'm going to create a restore point there. Thank you. There we go. I want to thank, I want to thank you for inviting me on. And anything you want to say and to congratulations those? Congratulations on getting. Oh, sorry. And congratulations on getting the last star spirit. Mhm. Mm well, there's only one place left to go, and that's to Star Haven. Oh. So. So all that's left to do is to go to Star Haven, find a way to get to Bowser, and beat his monkey ass. Stop a mold up, and, and, and in the words of your favorite Texas legend, Stone Cold Steve Austin, stop a mud hole in them and walk it dry. But until then, this is the Blue Toad to Jew 22 signing off. And until then, until then, have do a be good one. Yes, absolutely. Have a good one, but definitely be kind to each other. You know, it doesn't it doesn't cost a lot to be kind. That much I will say. Until then, happy, uh, uh, uh what is it? A merry early Christmas. Uh, happy post, uh, Easter. And I believe the next major holiday, if I'm not mistaken, is Cinco de Mayo. If I'm not mistaken, or is there another one? If I'm not thinking yeah. of. Yeah. But, uh, of course, April Fool's had already come and passed, so I can't even use that joke. But until then, this is the Blue Toad, signing off. Have a great day, or night, whenever you're watching this. Peace! Love you, bye.